Good evening. I'm Chanel Vioca, title expert. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I thank you in advance for subscribing. So tonight, I will be starting a new series entitled Lings on Auto Titles. You will want to stay tuned for this entire series. Um, while it's very complicated, it's very important. Um, if you are currently in a lien situation or you plan on purchasing a vehicle um, shortly and you're going to be getting it financed, you will want to stay tuned for this important and useful information as it will help you uh, during your lien situation that you could be facing. Um, so tonight's segment will be about an introduction um, to liens on auto titles. I will talk about uh, what a lien is. Um, I will talk about the responsibility that you, the buyer, um, or the dealership, if you're purchasing from a dealership, um, has, as well as consequences um, that can arise if the lien is not filed on the title or if the lien is filed um, too late. So again, you want to stay tuned for this entire series so that you will not uh, miss any important information. Uh, moving forward, um, a lien is um, a security filing that your financial institution or agency has um, in that particular vehicle you're purchasing, you know, um, after they have loaned you that money. Um, and that title in question is going to be um, their collateral, uh, so to speak, that they have uh, pertaining to that interest. Um, so if you're purchasing a vehicle from a dealership and um, you have a lien, the role of that dealership is to ensure that um, that lien is filed on that title, you know, and filed accurately. That's the role of the dealership when it comes to that lien filing, very important. So uh, most lien holders um, do not um, like the consumer uh, to handle the title work. Um, they, they normally leave that uh, decision to the dealership, but they really don't like um, the dealership to um, hand the title work over to the customer due to obvious reasons of theft, damage, um, lost documents, and, you know, things of that nature. And most dealerships um, don't like to, you know, give the customer the title work either due to the same thing. Um, you know, um, unless it's a mom and pop um, or small dealership, sometimes they'll take the risk. They'll let the customer uh, walk away with the title work um, as they believe the customer um, is going to do the title work themselves. Um, and then they will ask that customer for a receipt uh, or proof that the lien was put on. OK, um, me personally, uh, from being. Uh, a title processor for being, you know, in, in this game for some time, um, I believe that the dealership should uh, complete the title work themselves or, you know, send the work to an agency such as mine so we can get the title work, uh, you know, completed properly with that lien filed. Um, so that's the role of the dealership. But um, if you're going to give the title work to the consumer or the buyer, then that buyer also shares in that burden of having the lien filed and having it filed, you know, accurately and in a timely manner. So both the buyer and the dealer both will take the responsibility of this. Now, if you are the buyer and, you know, you don't have the paperwork uh, for your title and, and whatnot, and the dealer is doing it for you, uh, my recommendation is uh, you will want to check back with the dealer within 30 days um, if you have not gotten proof that your vehicle was titled and the lien was recorded. You want to do that uh, to be proactive because if the lien holder um, does not receive their title in a timely manner, normally 30 days, sometimes it can be a little bit longer depending on the lien holder, depending on the state. But if they don't receive that title, uh, or proof that the lien was recorded within a certain time frame, the lien holder will uh, come to you um, or that dealership uh, regarding the status of their filing. So you will want to be proactive and reach out to that dealership for proof if you haven't already received it. Okay. Now, what happens um, if, you know, the lien holder has stated they have not received a title 
um, or the lien basically was not filed or filed in a timely manner. Um, the bad news is that the lien holder could um, threaten to, you know, uh, give you a penalty, a financial penalty uh, regarding your payments. Um, they could also increase your interest. Okay. And worse, um, they will repo your vehicle. So these are the measures that the lien holder can take if that lien has not been filed or filed in a timely manner. So to avoid these issues, um, I strongly recommend that you reach out to that dealership uh, within 30 days, um, you know, for proof that um, the lien was in fact recorded um, properly, okay? So um, I hope this segment helped you out tonight. Again, stay tuned uh, for this entire series so that you can get more insight as it pertains to liens on auto titles. Please check me out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Please click, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and I hope to hear from you soon.